Now I'd like to show you how to put this little doll together. She is so cute. She's got a lot of thick hair, but just some fun little tricks on how to um, do the appendages so that they, so she goes together easy. Okay, then on the head you're going to cut one layer of fabric for front and for a back, and then uh, when you cut the side piece, layer it with two pieces right side together. Then um, you're going to sew one of these side pieces to the back, matching the back fabric. This is just showing you that's the back. It'll be fabric and you're going to sew it matching the buttons and then you're going to sew the other side to the front, matching the notches like that. So one side to the front, one side to the back. And then once you do that, then you'll put them together matching the top and sew from the neck all the way up and then all the way around. Okay, hey, to make the arms and the legs, just copy the pattern and put it on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sides together and then um, just sew right on your paper pattern on the solid line cut on the dash line. Take your paper out and turn them right side out and on the little fingers I take a little bit of stuffing in little balls and put it down in the fingers so they're kind of separate little pieces of stuffing and then I stuff them very very tight and then just top stitch with on the sewing machine between the fingers and that's the trick to make uh, these pieces very special is just to stuff them really really tight. Okay then on the body there are two fronts and two backs and read the pattern it says sew these back sides together first so that's what we've done sew those back sides together and then on the front it'll say the same thing sew this seam first so sew those together and then they're gonna they'll open them up and sew right sides together again but this time you're just you're just gonna sew from the neck to the notch on both sides from the neck to the notch on both sides and then the bottom is open and what that allows you to do is put now when I stuffed this leg I left right uh, about a half inch here not stuffed just helps her bend her leg a little better and then on one side of the opening I machine sewed using quarter of inch seam and then once that's turned right side out I can turn the other side under a quarter of an inch and just hand blind stitch her little bum like that. Then I'll then before I stuff it, I also put the little arms across the neck like this and make sure you've got a nice neat seam underneath. And then I'll then at that point I'll stuff the body we're going to put the head on which I think is the trickiest part Now you need to study which is the front of the head the cheeks hang a little lower than the back of the head the, it's a little wider up here at the top and then of course the sides are different you can see here's the top here's the back here, here's the front you can see it's not symmetrical so you can tell this is the front but I've stuffed both the head and the body clear up into the neck and as, as high as I can here and then what I'm going to do is just push the head down until this line becomes straight. Now I'll hold the body between my knees and, and then push the head down while I blind stitch this and I'll go around several times so that that head is really secure and I'll blind stitch it so that very few stitches are showing on this side. To do the doll nose it's a single circle and I've hand basted all the way around and then I'm just going to um, stuff it with stuffing and the trick with these nose is to stuff it really really full and you can take like tiny stitches around all the way around it will also help to so there's not big gathers and you're going to pull it to make a tight nose and then you put that opening down on the face of the doll 
and um, let the nose come around and crown and then you're going to blind stitch where the nose meets the face. Okay, the eyelids are really unique. You've got two, uh, you fold this fabric and then fold the folds together and of course be right sides together and then you'll have a pattern eyelid and you're going to put the straight edge right along that double fold and then sew on the rounded part cut outside and you'll have this piece that has a double fold so the edges are both faced and then the eyes are just felt you can blanket stitch around the edges and the thing with this eyelid is that you you don't want these side seams to show and so you're going to take a needle and thread and get just pull the back together so that these seams will pull around to the back of the eye and then this is just placed right um, on the little face, face and then you can blind stitch that you can blanket stitch around the white part okay now to do the hair I pull yarn about 18 inches 20 inches back and forth till I have little groups of yarn and then I take the middle of that yarn and I'll place it along the design lines for the hair and just whip stitch down the middle of that to secure it what I've done is um, some loops here and then I've done sections of hair around where the ear would be around the base of the neck and I've doubled that so that when I pull it back it's going to be really thick then I came down the middle and did the same thing so just did groups of yarn whip stitching it as I go as I and then what we're going to do is pull all of that into some high ponytails. Now, for a doll like this, that's going to be played with by a ch child, I will really secure these ponytails because, of course, when the ponytail comes down, you're going to see she's kind of bald in the middle here. So I'm going to tie it with yarn really, really tight, and then I'm going to take a needle and secure that yarn down in there and then just explain they can play with this part of the ponytail but keep it um, in a ponytail. There she is, her che cheeks are blushed and the clothes are pretty easy and she just turns out darling. I hope you have fun with this pattern.